think over the next 10 years, we're going to see a lot more of the blurring um, from virtual to the real world from, from a couple of perspectives. You've got creation, you've got the ability to create new products, easier, faster, quicker than ever, rapid prototyping everything. And then on the other hand, you've got the logistics side of it, which is quite exciting from an AI perspective, machine learning. We are going to see a transformation of manufacturing thanks to machine learning and artificial intelligence, but not only. We are seeing a lot, a lot of technology. Virtual Twin is one of them. And they are fostering real transformation because manufacturing sector is going to totally transform. I see so many technologies coming to transform manufacturing. So we have machine learning, but also quantum computing is advancing. We have robotics, but also metaverse approaches to simulating an industrial manufacturing plant. How does this work in practice in manufacturing? When it comes to technology and business, I hear it all the time from clients that often it's um, very hard to sort of make a move because things are moving so fast, or they're just not sure of the first sort of step to take. I think they know that they've got to make that change, but they're not quite sure still how to do it. Often we talk about the pace of, it, of technology, thinking that it's the one big idea which is going to change everything. But in the end, it's a process. It's, yes, there's the actual, you know, catalyst, the invention itself, which might bring this change cascading forward. But it's also how you collaborate within the industry, which is key. There is no way nowadays that we can still innovate or grow alone. Innovation has become co-innovation by essence. And to survive, we need that connectivity with the ecosystem. I think it's quite interesting the way that um, the, the future feels like it needs to be more operable and interoperable and shareable and that's thing. But the realities of doing it is so difficult when you've got personal identifiable data, you know, that needs to be protected. What is very much interest, in, interesting for the future, uh, engineers for example, is to be uh, at the center of the game as uh, technical uh, specialists, but also uh, speciali specialists of strategic organizations yeah. uh, with respect to given fields of activities uh -huh. and mostly to accelerate innovation also. And, and, and as, we, as we're moving from the engineering disciplines to system engineering for the product itself, we need also the engineers to play a key role in designing and modeling the value network. And this is going to be fun because it's going to be super important for sustainability, super important for agility. I think that would be a very noble task for them and a very fun task as well. We'll look back at this as a new industry renaissance where we will as a sector, as an industry, have come together to build, to build the most incredible products and infrastructures that we could ever imagine. <laughs>